Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever Planet Coaster live stream. What an exciting it's time it crazy, is. It's crazy, it's crazy. You guys, I can see that you're excited in chat. Look how exciting everybody is To be is honest, I've been watching the chat go up and it's been like, it's been like they're falling off a massive cliff, just watching yeah. it. It's been, it's been passing by and I, it's nice to see people going, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Everyone's just like, just calm I like down. There's some a reasonable bit. people in the chat who are trying to make sure but things stay calm. They're drowned out by excitement. And, and the team is really excited as well. This we, is want, we, want excite we want drowning by excitement. I think it's the kind of, yeah. that's the kind of example we want to set here. So I am Edward Lewis, part of the community management team here at Frontier Developments. And tonight we have a very, very exciting stream planned for you. We've got loads going on. We've got Q&A with John Laws, who is sitting right here, uh, the Hello. art director of Planet Coaster. Right, the studio art director. There is another art director on the project. Oh, I'll mention him later on, Matt Priest. Fantastic. Probably watching. We also have lots of videos and also some uh, concept and some images as oh, well. Oh, we, we've sure. got the lot. You're going to see um, uh, videos, some development concept. I mean, I've been basing it around some of the fantastic and also difficult questions, no doubt, um, I've read so far. So hopefully we'll be able to illustrate those and discuss mm -hmm. the wonderful things you've been asking about. Uh, someone in the chat did just say, hey, dad. Um, I'm just wondering <laughs> if that's for you, because I don't have a son or a daughter. Literally, I, I, I missed it. Hello, Beth Samarizzi, if you are watching. Well, well done. It's lovely to see you. <laughs> Fantastic. And that's the kind of family community that we like to grow here at Frontier Developments as well. So, John, without further ado, um, uh, let's uh, let's introduce you properly. So you have been at Frontier Developments for how long now? Oh, my word. Um, so oh, what year is it? Uh, I came in 2001, so um, yeah, in, uh, 15 years. Been here a long time. It's a, it's a real keeper of a of a place. It's a lovely job to have. Um, yeah, and uh, came here uh, uh, as a as an as effectively an art director on a project, and then then uh, was given ample opportunity in the width of Frontier to grow and become a um, studio art director. Fantastic. So how how where where are we up to? I know people at home want to know all about things like Alpha and the Alpha build and things like that. So where are we up to? with the alpha build we are up to um, the kind of <laughs> wonderful crazy place where it's 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 bouncing along at, at, a, at, a, at a at a wonderful wonderful pace there's any way the only way we could put it and when and what's lovely now is because we're trying to make sure in alpha that there are some really gorgeous uh, kind of parks for you to play around and ones which kind of invite you to to build stuff within these spaces so it, so that the team, myself and uh, uh, Matt and various members of the team, are building out, you know, full parks, inviting little parks where you can build into, and obviously like complete open sandboxes. But wonderful, wonderful things are going on, and we're kind of in that wonderful polish stage where by every day there's a new thing going yeah. in. So, well, yeah, today really for example, we had um, I've got to say because it's such a yeah, no, you, yeah, we had these uh, fantastic big stage flood lights going in which you can place around so you're kind of placing lights multicolors, and all the rest of it so it's just just fantastic um we're learning more well, I mean, look, look in the background in, in the background yes. now you can see um uh, the roctopus Shall we move out the way? very punny you see this uh, here, anyway, this this lovely thing here mm. that's all from game and the the, the the light sequencing you're seeing on seeing there is is yeah they, they, that's that's relatively recent mm. i mean these are huge things every day video stuff Oh. Okay, yeah, uh, apparently it's buffering, buffering. The video may have stopped just slightly, so stream up is again. Just let us know if you are buffering. So very sorry if it's going up and down, but hopefully it won't be. It's because there's so many of you. Apparently there's about 1,500 people watching right now, which is lovely, of course. That's We're wonderful. Welcome. welcome to the stream. It's good to see you here. Hmm. Um, but hopefully, if we do go down, just press the F5 button, and then we should be popping right Straight back, back up. Straight back up. Straight back up. Right, so... I mean, Where do we, where do, I, we've got so much to show. We've got so much to do. We've got some. We've got some giveaways as well at the end of the stream as well, which is fantastic. We're giving away some early bird editions for hey, Black Coaster as well. So fantastic. if you aren't there already, we're going to be what? giving away some of those. So stick around for that. We have well, the, the, images, concept art. Well, videos. Shall, shall we? Uh, I think we should maybe talk a bit more. Well, just about just on the alpha and the, the whole early bird yep. thing um, from one. I mean, you can actually say we, we can we can put a, a more or less hard and fast date on right. when, when, we're, when we're coming. Uh, well, so the hard and well, fast date. When is I say hard and fast. In a, in a small range. It's a hard and fast period, yes. really, uh, which is but it's after exciting. March the 16th. So you you will be playing it in March, but after March the 16th. So yes. that's, the, that's the window that we're talking about. We'll have more information on the exact date very, very soon for you. But that alone, I mean, surely that's got to get some excitement going. Yeah, get some really? for that. Is it, does anybody like that say yes if you love it? 
and because uh, that's great. Yeah, we do have a 30 second delay on the chat, so do keep your questions coming through. We yeah. will try and get through as many of these as possible tonight because obviously there's a lot of you in here and a lot of you commenting, and that's why we asked over the last few days mm -hmm. for your questions on the forums and also in uh, social media. So across Twitter and Facebook, and I have literally eight pages of questions here. And we're <laughs> yes. gonna try and get through these as fast as possible because otherwise we're gonna be here, here all night. And I know that you guys wouldn't mind that, but we gotta go home and have some tea. So Yeah, indeed, indeed. Um, so, um, the, 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 um, also, in terms of answering the questions, we have had some which more or less kind of nest around. People are excited. The same kind of, oh, oh my Lord. Wow. <laughs> um, let's stop reading because that's dull for you to watch. So, um, yeah. So, for example, one of the one of the uh, things that people were asking mm. about was in terms of lighting. Can you place your own lights? Can you put stuff around? So obviously I've alluded to the fact you can do that. Yeah. And to those uh, those guys who asked, uh, will you also be able to choose the kind of colours you can choose, mm. which colour light you want to put down and all the rest of it. And we'll continue to build on that. Yeah. Um, because, uh, yeah, one of the big things about Alpha, a, a big uh, uh, thing we're delivering with Alpha, is you can really get your, your, your teeth, hands and mice into uh, building out these fantastic parks. Everything from the ground up from, the, from this wonderful parking system, which I think actually we haven't, we haven't said enough about, because um, it, it really works so well. Um, yeah. And, and, and one thing that I keep getting my mind absolutely blown by when yep. I'm looking at the footage, like the sort of the stuff that we're showing behind, the stuff that we've got lined up to show tonight as well, I think this is pre-alpha footage. And it yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. blows my mind to think what we're going to have when it comes around to the fact that we're releasing this full product. Well, it is. I mean, it is very hard. It's very hard to, it's very hard to not show as much as you can, or actually kind of deliver as, 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 as much as you can because we want to make sure that when we deliver alpha that what we're delivering is incredibly robust mm. and actually something you really enjoy playing with but also that in playing with it and and seeing what you can do with the uh, the tools and the content that we're going to give you mm. see what you come up with and see what that kind of feedback is so you know the, the alpha for us is incredibly important it's incredibly uh targeted fantastic. so it's fantastic yet somebody was saying in here about uh they were saying oh march after march 16th that could mean in 2017 no it's in march he did say the 16th he did say in march that. just after that so just there's a period so pay attention guys Come on. <laughs> trying, trying, trying to help. <laughs> trying to help. Uh, so let's get into, let's do some questions. Let's do some questions from the forums and stuff like that. And then we can yeah. start showing some footage as what? well along with that. Yeah, I mean, I, I wonder if we, um, so a lot of people actually asked uh, as a kind of way in about the kind of mascots, because people have been seeing, um, uh, you know, in the kind of coast hair clubs yeah. and all the rest of it, uh, some of the, uh, the content and the concept for the mascots mm -hmm. and how we come up, to, how we come up with it. Mm -hmm and uh, the kind of development processes yeah. of those. Um, so just on that kind of larger kind of, uh, meta question really about, about mascots and, and entertainers, because it also fe feeds into the themes as well, mm. um, which is be great to touch on later on. Yeah, I'm just gonna um, say, I'm actually gonna be showing some footage and when I am, you will hear my mouse clicking around. So I do apologize about some mouse clicks that you will hear. All right, but I'm sure you'll be okay because the, the reward is payoff. Oh, I might, uh, just you know, imagine the stuff you'll be seeing because of those mouse clicks is really good. But in the background, it was sound like a little chorus of tap dancers, just little tiny things. Just little tiny, little people tiny dancing people. around here on the computer, selecting things for you. But it's going to be a carnival of glorious imagery. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. No, absolutely. So I'm going to call out some people by name. Good. Uh, Coaster Buff asked, "Will we be getting other similar mascots for different themes that you have planned?" I think they're referring to, uh, like you were saying before, yeah. the uh, the pirates sort of mascots and the well, animatronic yeah, like, stuff in there. Yeah. So, so we've obviously got. Oh other... no, that, they'll be the pirate on stilts, won't it? Yeah. So, so the way we kind of make the way we're working it um, is we've got other. Uh, we've got other themes planned, but also we're developing uh, kind of the brands within uh, the fictional game world of Planet Coaster as well. So um, uh, they, they'll have their own kind of mascots here uh, uh, that you'll see. So within this park here, you can actually see that in, in the distance, you might see a very tall kind of pirate style figure um, wandering around. I mean, this, this, is, this is beautiful to actually talk about. Oh, anyway. this is well of this. And this is all pre, it's pre-alpha build. But it's all it taken by somebody who. So those two dudes, and just, the guys in the background as well. So you saw a massive. Oh, it's probably no, it's probably it's not bad. Rewind. It's always fun to do. So these two guys, uh, one is the theme, uh, one is uh, uh, Captain Lockjaw of uh, mm -hmm. of the pirate theme, because uh, we, uh, like the Imagineers of uh, of old of, of, of old Disney, we, we came up with uh, pretty solid stories behind That's the good. themes. You know, they're kind of yeah, they're kind of planet coaster IPs if you like, because mm. um, it helps us develop the art. You know, it helps us understand the you know, it helps us 
answer the questions that naturally come up. So, you know, what people should be in this kind of pirate community, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, what what are, the, what are the bands? So, you know, uh, in the in the pirate band, there's a guy who's completely naked apart from a barrel, who, uh, who 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 plays the drums on his barrel while there's a uh, a chimp playing the uh, concertina. Yeah. Because in those days, well, in those days, animal you know. welfare just were not around. <laughs> um, but fortunately, in Planet Coast, you know, the, in that coast, they're animatronics, um, and uh, so so no chimps are harmed in the making of Planet Coast. It's just an animatronic. <laughs> it really is. Um, and again, get, cutting back to the gameplay because this is an important thing. Yeah. So we're putting all this wonderful stuff in, um, but it's important to understand about uh, the reason why it's there is that when you place it down, the crowd use it to make it play, to entertain mm. themselves, yeah. and it earns you money. So whatever you put in your park will have an automatic uh, uh, kind of reward for you. You know, if you're designing your park, well, if you're putting stuff in there to keep the guests happy, you're gonna start clawing the money in. And if you're getting the, uh, if you're putting the right things down for the, for the, for the right audience, then you'll get more money. Mm -hmm. One, one Sorry, of the other common questions, no, no, I it wasn't off point at all, it's fantastic and I, I know that people are really, really interested to hear all this stuff, so do, please, go off on one as much as you want and talk it, it, well, all sorts of aspects of the game. We've still got another 50 minutes of me going off on one, so this is good, this is good. Normally yeah. um, um, uh, I waffle. You can't usually, I mean, it's often and often you get job, people yeah. actually dedicated to just watching you and give you an hour to talk, so yeah, so what I was going to nice say, you, isn't it? I didn't finish the, I didn't finish the uh, <laughs> mascot on. point. Yeah. Um, so you saw, the, you saw the guy in the foreground, the massive uh, uh, pirate guy who's actually to go on stilts who who nick rogers our head of animation here actually got some decorated stilts uh, and then wandered around outside in the car park mm -hmm. so we could take photos and video of him uh, mm -hmm. on stilts so it's all it's all perfectly done as well properly traditionally done oh, yeah. in the background you would have seen a large walking hamburger or oh, patty yeah i've, uh, I've never seen um, no, him before no i know that, 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 that's chief beef which chief is our beef, you know, chief, chief, chief beef. beef he's a he's our fictional premium burger brand <laughs> um because you know again kind of pulling back into the the uh, sim burger simulation police, jelly you know you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hamburger please thank you very much um well yes right the hamburger but he's definitely chief beef um <laughs> so he's like one of the premium brands in game which you uh, would develop uh, towards as you as you get a bigger and more successful park so you'll start off with lesser brands yeah more like a standard, standard a standard uh, uh, brand um, mm -hmm. Which I, I, I can't Yeah, we don't want to try. We're not going to do that. That's not fair, is it? If we were to no, we, sort of no. But premium at the end of it. Which no, we actually give it, we've, we've given the standard ones a name, but I'm not, I'm not going to say it quite yet because we want to develop that brand so you can actually see that. So the beauty of it is, is that you end up with Planet Coaster, which has a real personality to it. And actually, the world has a lot of truth to it. You yeah. know, you actually believe in this world. Brilliant. It's hugely important. It is. Should we talk a little bit about theme? Because actually, yep. um, well, it leads you, into it. Yeah, yeah, so it links into it. So we do have a lot of questions. For example, uh, I think it was, <laughs> let me read through these again. Like I said, we, we, we have got uh, a lot of this going on. I'm going to put on this top one here. Uh, again, we have a lot of images to look through, so do bear with me while we bring up these images. But here we've got... Yeah, this so is something that's completely new that no one has seen before, by the way. Uh, yeah, so even an idea of this. So this is super exciting new stuff. It's very much so. Um, so we've developed uh, for the alpha, we've developed the Planet Coaster theme and the Pirate theme. And now, you know, we're, we're, uh, some of our team is beginning to push off to, you know, like the concept guys are pushing mm -hmm. off um, away from those themes and developing the next set. So we're looking at, yeah, so uh, this big fairy tale theme so this is more of a kind of an ideation i hope people are liking this um but it's far more of a kind of a, a very traditional magical kind of fairy theme mm. which means that within your park you know you can have this kind of more adult version of uh, the pirates more like pirates of the caribbean kind of feel mm. um and then on the other side you've got something far more tangled like and you've got something which is uh, a, a very it kind of fits a younger audience for your park as opposed to a younger audience for the game if you know what i mean because you know, park creators want to make zones around their park a lot of the time. You know, they want to make, oh yeah, this is the family zone. So there's a very natural thing to have fairy tale in there. So we developed this ideation yeah. inside here to play around with. And then because we've matured the kind of wall sets and the modular stuff, which allows you to build these fantastic mm. um, scenes, we're now starting to develop more kind of targeted concepts um, uh, within the fairy, uh, fairy stuff, which if you kind of go on to yeah, um, some of these other okay, ones. Okay, so some of, the, some of the fairy tale stuff like this. 
Yeah, so th this is this is now far more um, catered towards what we know from building out these first two sets of Planet Coaster and the Pirate set. We know that we need the decorations to go on the walls, you know. So there's a so the modular building stuff that you saw back on uh, when we showed, you know, we showed modular buildings of the yeah, 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 similar to that, but it'll be you know have this yeah, so, so when you look at theme to it. exactly. So when you look at like the the, the, the pots here and the weather vanes, mm -hmm. you you can. As a player, you can have, if you want to have that weather vane sticking out the top of a, a, a flower pot, you can. We're not giving you a whole bunch of kind of dead geometry. We're giving you stuff which actually you, as a player, can put together. You make these big combinatorial kind of scenes and then, you know, they become blueprints which you can clone and share, give to your friends, put online. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a really exciting thing. You know, you, it's, it's, when we look at a concept, the way that we judge this stuff is we say, right, are these components really good to build other things from? Can you build unique mm. content from these um, items? So, you know, we go down to quite a lot of small details to which allows us, to, us developers give you kind of blueprints, which, are, which shows you what you can do and you can use, you know, because not everybody wants to be the super creator. They want to build a really successful simulating, simu really successful simulation of a park. Other people are creators and they want to sit there and really play and create unique elements to build that a beautiful looking theme park. Mm. Um, so we want to, we we want to and are giving you that. So this is the really good, actually don't move off this. Don't move this off great. this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So obviously here, don't move this one. Okay. we would start looking at this concept yeah. here of, a, of an awning around a shop. It's like a framework on the shops. Okay. So here we start putting the signage, then the signage would be broken off and that'd be its own separate thing. And yeah. you can start dressing this up in a completely different way. So this mm. kind of stone lintel at the bottom, would sit on top and then you can start splatting uh. signs on there. We'll come back to signs later because I think we've got a lot of loads of pictures of signage. It's really cool. I'm actually oh, we've got lots going on. It is, ah. We've got lots to talk about. We have in this time. one. I'm going to do a Should little I sneak. Slow I'm going to do a little sneak peek of something here. All right. Okay. That, that one. Oh. Oh. Don't, oh. Don't, we'll, we'll come back to that later. Oh. Well, that's again another theme. So we're, <laughs> we're, you know, um, being Planet Coaster, we take a really interesting pass on. Yeah. Oh, it's gone black. No, no, is we are normal? still here. Yeah, keep going. I'll, oh, good, I'll, I'll okay. let you know if anything goes wrong. With, what, like, ah! I'm just, I'm just, yeah, just a scream, <laughs> just to start throwing things around. No, yeah. I'm a me. Uh, yes, uh, I'm just here driving this thing. You talk. I'm do, I'll do all the pictures and the thing. You do the talking. You yeah. carry on. You read questions if you want to read questions. Hopefully, no, this is covering a lot of the stuff that you're asking. Um, we will try and get as specific as possible later on, if we've got the time. Uh, well, really, I mean, a lot of that, a lot of that was actually asked by Angelus. Or yes. An, or, or Angelus. How you mean? Angelus. Angelus. Yes. Um, so, four light Angelus. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's kind of touching on a lot of the stuff that uh, he or she asked. Yeah. Um, which hopefully are, are answers those questions. And yeah, there, there's concept development going on of, uh, for all the themes uh, based on the kind of ride stories that we're creating for those. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's exceptionally lovely. I mean, and also, but just to say about the, what I really love about Planet Coast, because one of the questions that uh, came up was you know what what do I get most excited about about Planet Coaster, mm. um, and it can kind of in in a, in a, in, a, in essence be summed up by um, the Planet Coaster theme set because when we were looking at it we were we were saying right so we we need our vanilla we need the the, the equivalent of a van yeah. of a vanilla set, um, and uh, what we what we were big on is the fact that the vanilla set should actually be more than just, video you know, kind of a, a red brick or a, it, it shouldn't be trying to ape a kind of main street. Maybe vanilla should be a kind of contemporary part. It should offer a kind so of contemporary video. Um, architecture, which yeah. allows you to build kind of modern buildings. Because if anything, that kind of red brick main street feel yeah. should almost be something which is like a kind of retro style. So you can go, you can go in and say, yeah. right, I want to build a classic. So, so here is our first ever show oh of pre-alpha Planet Coaster yeah, theme. Yeah, yeah. This is it. It's the first time we're showing it. And there's some stuff I want to sort of, I, I actually want to pause on a few things. So, I mean, well, just comment away. That well, I mean, about yeah. so, so, so this is an interesting one because it's actually, uh, I'd say this is a kind of like a 50, 50 to 6 percent job. So that shot there, what you notice is there's a lot, not job, but uh, <laughs> you see it's like in the background, you've got like yeah. a Chief Beef stall. Yeah. So Chief Beef is, is something that you'd also see those signs are also something that you probably want to use uh, in, a, in a great big pirate set or, a, or, or within the fairy tale setting. Mm. You put those around and suddenly it begins to feel like this, it's a theme park world, but there are brands running away through mm. it. So, so it begins to feel like a, like a real a world real as world. well as that. As soon as you put one of those signs down, the crowd start reacting to it and they start to follow the signs. So they start going, oh my God, I'm really hungry. I actually fancy a cheap beef right now. Yeah. So you start to wander <laughs> through and, you, and, you'll, and you'll go to the big yeah. premium 
uh, Burger Shack because again it, it's feeding back into the gameplay and I mean what one of the one thing actually we'll come back to some videos in a minute because yeah. what we're also showing in those these beautiful weaving paths which are taking those guests to the to yeah. the places is there's so much to get excited about yeah you can it's tell absurd. you get really excited yeah, about it that, that we don't normally get a chance yeah, no, to yeah, uh, John you can come back again with this level of enthusiasm <laughs> you can come back again every time do you want me to leave in fact you no, can just no, I'll shut up now um, <laughs> no you're perfect it's wonderful um, so um, I mean some more questions um, what right, were some of the, some of the yep. I, I do think that it is important that one of the things that people do and they were talking about a lot yep. in this at the start was you know UGC UGC question mark UGC user generated yep. and start to put together your barrels individually turn into a blueprint of its own so it could be the smallest thing of a, of a flag stuck in a in a flowery ba uh, barrel mm -hmm. of something and yeah, pouring over I make that in a simplest and lovely decoration people will yeah. like it as they walk past it makes them happier or you can then take that that flag or that sculpture and start to put it into something far more grand I mean we've got a very we've got we have got a very sneak thing to show you kind of how yes, I can bring that how up, yeah. that actually works so this is um this is probably the rawest bit of footage you're going to get not this side yeah this is so so we won't, we won't show too much because we, we don't want to um do too much but this really kind of allows allows us so so right before you play it yeah yeah yep. so so in front of us here we've got a very kind of dense scene of items you can kind of see uh uh when we're when we're generating these uh i'm going to talk a bit around, you, uh, around the UGC uh, and also talk about the themes because I think people are there are so many questions about there are many questions about theming yeah and items and building as the where about uh kind of UGC so when I look at it you know you've got this um entirely custom built thing of statues making a very dense very beautiful area now the thing to understand about what you're currently looking at is these are blueprints you know that they're, they're, they're items that are they're, they're composite creatures right yeah. that that pirate on his own you know the big pirate king is yeah. one statue okay and the barrel is a separate the barrel is another one together. Together. so so what you're going to see here is we'll, we'll prove it um because you know we're kind of going in and you'll see that like the big i don't believe you john i know well let's let's have let's, a look let's have a look let's have a look but um, also oh my well. god but look in the background this is so <laughs> yeah, cool yeah. there's so much this is well. It, it, it's um there's which is it's also we won't built even, in the same way well it's not well, we're going to we won't go into too much detail because it spoils it for 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 future a little bit of a so you see, we're moving up to this uh, really grand um, fountain. Try to ignore the, the large tentacles in the background there that we yeah. can see. <laughs> and you can see that um, I'm actually starting to select the, uh, the the puffers in front of us. Um, so each of these bushes are all uh, are all placed. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought that was it. a little more like a. No, no, no. It's it's oh. it's just the base, and then you start putting down all the foliage, and it's really cool. So everybody, don't look too much. Just look at, remember, concentrate on the middle bit. Yeah. Everyone. So I don't know. Right. So here you, 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 yeah, you see, it starts clicking. You can see, I'm now selecting the individual puffer fish. Um, and then in, in a moment, I'm going to select the little boat um, down at the base of the ride. Yeah. And I'm going to break that off and move it around because I might want to change the design of the ride. Yeah. Uh, the ride, of the, of the fountain. Yeah. And I can put that anywhere. And I think I start to um, stalk a yeah, couple of yeah. passes by because it's kind of fun. It's just nice of you. Um, <laughs> it's kind of fun, and I'll, and I'll knock them over if I could. Yeah. Um, but then, but yeah, so I'll have a little play around, but then one little click of a button pops back over there and it's completely um, back, back to where it was. Yeah, but I can, can you, but I can take that, clone it, give yeah. it to a friend, share it online. And that's just, a, that's a very conventional way of using the, the, the vast amount of content that we're giving out for the mm -hmm. themes. Yeah, as, as you yeah, know, it's, it's UGC in a box, right? Yeah. So we're going to make sure that when you've got the content of the bit at the beginning of the game this, this game is releasing with ugc in a box you know everybody can create beautiful things if yeah. they're inventive with what we're giving them using, and using the can, tools that we have given them uh, as well. and the content we've got loads and loads of, 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 of wonderful little kind of jewels of content which you can put together to make much larger things mm -hmm. um because you know we we know of old that what you well, what is limiting is when you splat down and there's some kind of big uh, turn of a truck or whatever, uh, some kind of big stunt scene. And you can only use it once or twice, and you might only have three that's given out. We understand why UGC is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah of course. So, so we're giving people a really unified and very beautiful quality, and on-message on, on quality through, mm -hmm. through, uh, uh, Planet, through Planet Coaster. Mm -hmm. And because we've got some fantastic artists generating this stuff, it's beautifully lauded, it's going to be efficient. Um, and you can be crazy with it. You know, we're giving you individual kind of lumps of dribbly seaweed. So there was almost a little bit of a, of a sort of not clue of one of those in one of the videos that I'll show, but I'll, right, I'll but let it play while you carry on talking. Well, what's really nice is just how inventive you can get. So, so uh, uh, Matt Matt Priest Matt Priest was building this uh, 
uh, fantastic effigy of someone. I'm, 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 I'm hoping it's not someone in the office. Um, <laughs> with uh, this wonderful kind of um, seaweedy beard over this um, kind of skull, and then you can put like the lamps or the lights inside the eyes, and start pushing that around. Yeah. So you're going to get this fantastic amount of um, uh, kind of content. You so, push that, so this stuff here has been pl placed individually, or all of the. Well, yeah, this this this, this here is n not the final piece I'm referring to because that's it, no, you okay, have this that's great it, yeah. big bushy. Yeah, yeah, sure. uh, this but, but it's similar to the idea is yeah. that that's been sort of proceed that's been all that's been built using oh, everything is com the, everything you see uh, pretty much everything you're seeing is componentized yeah so all the little things you're seeing down here not, you know, the, not the not the flat rides obviously no 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 but when you look around the scenery a lot of that you're just putting together and composing the scene so you know that that the two bows on top of each other when you look at this in mind again like, that's Awesome. Yeah. So, but I mean, again, we do completely understand yeah. the, the, you know, the the concept of um, people. You know, people want to mod, and in the future, we we will absolutely look into doing it. Yeah. Right. So, just I just want to make that point quite clear. Uh, so, to give us a second. One, so, we've got our faces up on screen. You say oh, in right, the future sorry. we are going to be looking into doing. No. Yeah. We we, we completely on. understand the, the 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 power of what you know what, what there's a community want to do. there that really want to get really. Want yeah. There is. There's part of the community that, that that definitely that absolutely want it. But at the same time, there's there's a, there's also a massive amount of people mm -hmm. who want to get creative with beautiful objects mm -hmm. without trawling through lots yeah. and lots of databases looking for stuff mm -hmm. that they can build, and then share mm -hmm. these wonderful kind of blueprint objects. And I think it's you know there's going to be a, there's going to be a community out there which is just making this stuff and you know we we're, we're going to make sure that we continually give stuff in updates and various ways of, uh, okay. of delivering content. Fantastic! So, and then I think that's a, a, a fantastic answer to all the people who who asked about that well, as well. I, I hope I answered it clearly. I mean, well, yeah. people are still I mean, post the question if you still don't. Yeah. Get it. But yeah. there's a, it's, well, sort it's, of post release, you might also look to introduce a, a, a even yeah, higher level. Yeah. But, of, but I think but general. those I think we're going to get a lot of publicity. Um, you know, certainly surrounding Alpha. And one of the things that we're delivering in Alpha, mm -hmm. you know, we're giving you an awful lot of the scenery to start playing with and seeing what you can create. And, you know, there's going to be like two themes in there. Build some stuff, yeah. you know, have, have a good time. You know, the content which you can put together to make these wonderful kind of scenes or, or composite mad, mad creatures, right? They're going to be there in a browser in the game. Just pick it and build it, you know, and then have fun. Wonderful. And as somebody just said on the stream as well in the chat, such a wonderful game, we're showing such wonderful stuff. Oh, no, I'm not. And yet people Sorry. are talking about red ears, apparently, because my ears are... Oh, my ears are... I don't yeah, know what that it's means. because it's, it's hot in here. There's lots of lights shining down. Painfully hot. Right. Sorry. We're having a nice time, though. Are you having a nice time, John? I am. Should we though, carry though on I'm, though I'm nice now time? really conscious, because someone said, is he wearing anything under his shirt? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and then my ears, you know. No, I don't know what to ears. do. Oh, don't worry about it. I think in lots of these streams, they, they talk about the streams. I'm also quite yellow compared to, to you. In, in this Earlier on, we were playing around with the colour palette and we were both The Simpsons for a while as well, yeah. didn't we? Anyway, sorry, back on topic. Um, we have, I have a, another wonderful video of some of, again, showing off some exclusive stuff that people haven't seen. Uh, and hopefully you can tie it into some of the questions that people have been answering. I'm, I'm praying. So yeah. forgive the, uh, well, actually, I've got some little ones to show. Go ahead. Some little animations Should that have been through. Uh, this one here is yeah. a lovely little exclusive for people eating. Well, yeah, but uh, yes, the people eating it, it's lovely, it's very characterful. Yeah. I mean, well, as you'd expect, we've got, we've, we do have the most ridiculously good um, animation, animation team. Unbelievable. Oh, it's bizarre. But also, when you Almost look at that image there, I mean, yeah, play it again. What, what you're really seeing here is how we're playing on the, um, on the silhouettes of the crowd. You know, we're, we're not just defaulting to a single body type. We're, mm -hmm. we're, we're playing around with different body sizes mm -hmm. and we're pushing the silhouettes. But what I will point out again is just how... Um, just how we're making it so that when you pull the camera back, when you get some of these high camera shots, because of the way that we're handling the art style, those people are, if you like, proportionately correct. Mm -hmm. So you start seeing them as real people. So you can lose yourself and believe that this park is, you know, it's, it's, it's real. It's a lovely sunny day. You know, the, the, uh, the way that we're handling the build and working on the reflections and yeah. everything else, it's going gonna, it's gonna to light as you would expect. It's going to feel like real that's good Some, somebody further down and again like, like i said we have eight pages of, of questions so it, i mean without trying to get through as many of these as possible i don't know what we're going to do but um i do want to say that somebody did ask about these animations look beautiful and things but are those going to be actually in the game or are these just sort of script animations that, that i think that's an important question uh no they're they like are, this they, one yeah so they are and this one which is a nice they are going to be in game there's the uh there's a yeah so all are <laughs> it, it, what's <laughs> So we started, and they're lovely, aren't they? They're really cool. So yeah, all the animations that you kind of see here, 
do appear in game. And what we're now doing is what's really lovely is we're putting we're putting the ride cameras together. So we're putting, which you'll see at some point in the future. Yes, um, yes. Tune in again yeah, for another yeah, really. live stream. Um, if but, we're allowed to do them after this. But yes, yeah, so. yeah, hope I hope this <laughs> goes well. Um, but yeah, well, so I captured this moment, and uh, you come back to us. Uh, yeah, can do. Well, there's there's only, there's only one way this will work, which is me acting it out. Okay. Um, so uh, I was watching the stuff through the uh, through the ride cam because I'm setting up the ride cams to try and make them look as good as they can be. Um, to, to show off the, the, the level of detail and also the quality that we're, that we're doing in the animations. Um, and there was this great moment when uh, the guy turned to the, to the woman beside him, because it's all procedurally placed, so you, you get this, these lovely moments whereby uh, the woman's looking around and then uh, the partner kind of looks across and goes... <laughs> and uh, you get these moments where you just completely agree Wonderful. that this is uh, real. You go, oh yeah, they absolutely know each other. So that, that level of illusion is exactly what we're pushing for. And I think you will, yeah, you know, we're going to see more in the in the future in terms of the way that entertainers mm -hmm. actually entertain the crowd and they are going to stop and they're going to react mm -hmm. and, you know, they're going to react to the to the, to the happenings around you. Fantastic. There's, there's a lot of people asking in the chat Sorry. actually a little bit about uh, ride cams because uh, it got, got caught up. We are going to be talking about ride cams in another live stream as well further down the line. Oh, um, but have what, I done a bad thing? No, 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 not at all. It's just that lots of people suddenly started asking about coaster cams and stuff and can we get on the, uh, yeah. I mean, yes, so you can and they do exist. We, we understand that the one of the lovely, the, the one of the oh, nicest things. We'll be going into things. more detail soon, but but if I, I'll, I'll keep it a very no, high yeah, level. Yeah, just do whatever you want. Very high level. You can do whatever you want, John. I want director John to say what he wants. I can't. There's a team of lawyers outside <laughs> that door. And law, lawyers, forty-eight lawyers. Ready to bar the door down. Um, yeah. So uh, what I was going to say is, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't read the don't read the thing. Um, yeah. So ride cams are very important, uh, and we're looking at that system. Now, because we want to make sure that it's a unified system that's consistent yeah. across coasters, flat rides. So as a user, you can get the experience of your ride and experience of the, of the park that you're building quickly. Because also you want to be able to see how your guests are enjoying the ride. Because yeah. again, the game ultimately, you know, when we release is about the simulation, the gameplay and you making a successful park, which is making you more money to build better, different parks around your planet coaster and share those with others in well, a yeah. wonderful yeah. community which, is, which are going to obviously be an incredibly enthusiastic bunch of people if, if this live stream is anything to go by uh, but I do want to say a really quick thank you before we show an expert of footage as well that I've got lined up for you uh, a huge thank you to everybody so far in the Coaster Head Club which you can I think still join and be a part and be a member of if you google Coaster Head Club I'm sure you can look it up um, but uh, just a load of those guys on the forums are they're, they're so enthusiastic on, on Twitter and on Facebook and all these places discussing all the stuff that we've shown so far about Planet Coast. It's an amazing, amazing, uh, what's the word, a just dedicated community and we cannot wait to show you the alpha and get you guys playing hands on with that as well. We I cannot actually, wait to see what you think of it. Jeremy, I, and what I really love about the community is, it is it's a very positive community yeah. actually. So far, look at this. I know, but, but it, they're, just gen they're just kind of lovely. I don't, I'm, we're not, I'm not, uh, you know, Kind of being sycophantic there, I think. Um, be as sycophantic as you want. No, no, because they'll see through it and they'll go, oh, he's being sycophantic. It's terrible. That's what they will say if I you are sycophantic, you. but you aren't, so it's all right. That's Let's good. put this next one on. This is the this is a long one. So we, can, just, we can talk yeah. in detail while people watch that in the background. We can answer some questions. But first of all, why don't you talk a little bit about what's happening on, on the screen right so what, here. So yeah, but, um, you're, you're seeing some very beautiful kind of swept lines in the uh, planet, in the planet Coaster uh, theme set. And what you're going to see actually is that there's a fair amount of flickering going on. And that is not a bad thing. I'll tell you why it's not a bad thing. Because what that is, is it's our uh, rendering code for reflections updating on a, on a bad frame. Mm. Or if, if it's, it's updating to uh, not often enough. Mm. Okay. By the time we ship, yep. yeah, that is going to be crisp, beautiful, real-time reflection. Yeah. So when you place a flat ride down, and when you see people walking past the reflective yeah. surface, and, and a lot of these walls are actually like vinyl covered, you're going to start seeing those reflections kicking off. Um, and it's going to oh, be really crisp. So when look you're coming around awesome. here... Pre-alpha, everybody. Yeah, pre-alpha, look, so look at it. It hype may, for pre-alpha. It may be a little bit poppy, but you're seeing the reflections of what's actually yeah. on the other side. And you're also starting to see this signage coming through. Yeah, uh, new, uh, new signs. And hats. And hats. Hats, everybody. Who knew? So, yeah. Uh, Round so of applause for hats. In the alpha. In the alpha. Yes. Around, yes, indeed. Uh, everybody's happy. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. The, so, you can see the brands for, like, the milkshakes and the ice creams that we've got kicking off through here. Um, and you're also seeing some absolutely wonderful... That sign there, the Cosmic Cow sign. That's beautiful down there. It's really good. It's very, very lovely. Oh, so need to toilet there. They need the toilet. Need to build a toilet. Build some quick. hats. Yeah. Some cool hats going on. So the um, the way that in Alpha, when you start building stuff down, you're going to start seeing a little bit of that, you know, a 
touching on the simulation where you start to see a little bit of like people start to buy um, hats and whatnot. Well, you saw as well that the the hat shop. What was the what was the hat shop called again? Oh. Sorry, remind me of the name of the hat shop. Hats off. Hats. Uh, hats fantastic. Hats fantastic. Oh, hats fantastic, sorry. isn't it? Yeah, and uh, hats fantastic. And then it's around hats fantastic that you'll start to yeah. see more people having but, hats. But let's. But let, it's so easy to get caught up in the details. Actually, yeah, look at what's pictures. going on sorry, with the pause and yeah. um, But actually, just what, look at the paths. You know, because actually, yeah. it's interesting to also <laughs> understand how. What, what I love about building stuff in Planet Coaster, and I think a lot of the team are probably going to hopefully agree in this, is that it's, it's building this wonderful combination of these, these, these wonderfully straight little paths and then suddenly kind of going mad with the curves. Mm. Yeah, I'm really bending it around, um, pushing out the, the kind of lengths of the path that you can build, sucking them back in, changing the widths, you know, create, creating pinch points as well as that creating the width of the path where you can start putting stuff around it and on it. It's just a it starts to feel like a real little space, you know, where people come. And uh, you know, one of the things we're finding um, is it's easy to think in the in, in the in a simulation game like this, you know, you you you, you uh, constantly see it from the god view, yeah. but it's always really lovely to see it to see what you're doing around uh, at, at this level because mm. you know we, we had a lot of feedback early on, even before we started making this this game, about how detailed everything everything had to be and how, how realistic everything needed to be. Now we've got some serious knowledge about coasters. So when you start looking at like the support that's coming past here, we really are looking at the detail of the, uh, you know, the screws and nuts, the way that they actually work on a, on a, on, on a real coaster. And, we're, yeah. and actually the coaster, the support's gonna be different between yeah. um, the actual rides themselves. So Can I ask you a question about these lights as yeah, well? Yeah, sure. At the bottom, I'm just saying, are, you, are those individually placed or are they part of the ride? No, they're all individually placed. And you so can pick the lights and stuff? Like you can pick the lights and the okay. light colors. So um, yeah, you can see the, the, these um, little kind of, uh, wonderfully kind of primitive looking uh, mm -hmm. lights or primitive base lights. Um, Look at that from the distance when you come around here. Uh, I just want to say as well, this has all been taken on a live build today, yeah. downstairs in this yeah. building. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was just with the controller and debug camera mode, just walking around it. It, yeah. it looks yeah. So and it has, this is pretty alpha footage yeah. right here, right now. And, and also remember, it has got yeah, you know, it's got a few test assets in there, and it still looks really nice. So that so that the thing on the on the right, that kind of shape, yeah. is when we're looking at different fountains. But it still looks really nice. I mean, and that, when that reflection is kicking off correctly on that wood, it's going to blow us away. I mean, it's 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 such an it's such an exciting project mm -hmm. to be working on. So um, yeah, we're kind of wandering around. You start seeing the elevated path in the distance going up to uh, beneath this, uh, area, this yeah. uh, uh, coaster. What's yeah. lovely about actually about this, oh. you've got this, oh, did you see that? Coaster going did anybody see the coaster going to the ground? <laughs> I'm sure they are. Um, you can see that certain areas of the park are obviously gonna be busier than others. That was the sort of the entrance way to the park almost. That's oh, totally, yeah. So, oh, so there you go, the coaster going to the top there. That's coming back in. Lovely. But also, as well as building these, obviously, I mean, we're, we're letting hair down a little bit with this coaster rail here because it's very, very bendy. Um, but you can easily build completely beautifully straight bits of coaster and you can recreate something which feels absolutely authentic, you know. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, I think, turn a little bit in a moment to, uh, to enter a, a theme. I do turning. really like this, uh, this particular ride with the... Yes, the Sky, Sky Fighter. Sky, yeah, it it's really cool. And at, and at so night, good. I can't believe how good it looks. No, and, and at night, so all of, each of the planes yeah. has a little light attached to them, and it starts yeah. to to light the whole thing. But it's a lovely thing, and obviously, uh, and, and I know because I set the ride camera, that's a really beautiful experience mm. to actually ride. Yeah. Um, it's just a bit bizarre. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd go on something like that. It looks a bit crazy. So fantastic. Um, uh, I mean, we, honestly, we, this, this this video goes on for another sort of four minutes. We can keep watching. Well, I think when it turns around, we're going to go into uh, a, a more themed area. Um, towards the uh, pirate size, and a bit, again, you think so. The sign you just saw go past you. Yeah, that's the kind of thing which has a play you can place down, and that will attract. Sweet, isn't it? Something that comes down and really looks in there. Yeah, that that will attract people towards that particular part of the um, uh, part part of your park. You know, oh, so it's, it's dragging you around the park. Okay. Uh, that's sort of the point. simulation on the simulation side. Yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it's all stuff that we've got planned for the future. This guy's not happy. No, is he? Well, he's he's clear. He's probably looking for a bit of food. I imagine he's, he's looking at... And so the guy who's built this Luke hasn't put any food in, which is <laughs> in this area. Maybe you, shouldn't, maybe you should follow the advice of someone who was on the thread earlier on and eat that massive burger walking yeah, towards him. Here he is, Chief yeah, Beef. Chief Beef. Um, so you've just seen actually there, we're, we're going from day into night. You saw the lights turning on, or maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't actually see the lights kind of pop on, but it's a, it's a really lovely effect, particularly in God view. When you, when you, when you just drag the camera, grace up and see the lights go on all over the park. Um, 
No, so it's, it's, it's really quite a lovely thing. So everything you're seeing here, so this big uh, collection of barrels over, over, over here and actually the, leading up to the stage where the band is, you know, these are all placed individually and then being constructed and actually the, the building just past that band, you know, the, the, the windows, the, uh, the skull on top, that whole arrangement, the, the, the flags, they're all just things that you're, that you're placing on and decorating your area with. And, you, and this whole scene here is being partly lit by the lights with the stage, but also that, that little white light that you saw a moment ago is also flooding the area. So you can really kind of make it so it's a, a thing for the crowd to see. It's wonderful. Yeah. I hope that a lot of your uh, questions are being answered in the chat. Uh, obviously, it's moving very, very quickly. I just mean that generally through what John is saying, I hope that it's answering some of your questions that you may have had about it as well. I'm going to try and keep reading through some more questions as yeah, we go sorry, along. Yeah, we should. Uh, we are 45 minutes through, or coming to 45 minutes through already. We're so. not. This yeah, is ridiculous, guys. We could guys. carry on for hours. <laughs> we, we can't, unfortunately. No, indeed, indeed. Unfortunately, but it does mean that you know, if you guys do want us to come back and do more of these, then hopefully we can, can in future as well for you yeah. to answer some of your questions. And perhaps we can have John back again. John's been a lovely guest. I'm really sorry. He's done I've been all the talking. Chatting been like fantastic. a crazy person. But look at that. Well, it looked up. Oh, hello. Here he comes. Here he is. Yeah. There's, there's the Coaster King hey. entertaining the world. Uh, yeah. So it's 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 quite amazing. Oh, we're coming up on the on the rocks piss in the distance with its uh, beautifully sequenced lights. Um, so, so all these barrels around here, they're yeah, placed yeah. individually. Uh, yeah, so so there's a there's a little that that in particular there's a little fruit store which is actually quite yeah. it's like a collection of fruit and food, and then you place that down and start putting the other items around it. So mm. yeah, then you then in in that case you could you could put that stuff down, yeah, and then effectively share it with your friends straight away. Mm. So I mean yeah, so currently in the in the Planet Coaster set, so this yeah. was made before. So right at the very end of the day, we had yeah. the kind of doors, the details, the other items which makes the Planet Coaster set actually have that yeah. kind of real feel in the world you know there's the kind of stuff where you want the staff to be going in through doors and things so there's all the things which make that you know kind of even more believable within your park i can't but i almost all right ge genuine this is a genuine reaction from me because somebody who is very excited to play this mm. uh play this game get my hands up with this game properly yeah um and i see people working on it every single day and, and, and working on these things and it's very very exciting i cannot believe that this is pre-alpha and i know that sounds like it's something like a scripted thing for me to say but I, the more and more i think about this and hear what but you're you know saying what? I mean, how how far what's it going to look like when it's in six months well I, I, i'll tell you what i mean it's 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 quite a planned thing <laughs> obviously it's a planned <laughs> thing right yeah. i mean de developing developing game it sounds condescending yeah. developing games is very hard yeah. right um and one of the things which is hard about it is being targeted so with again with this alpha you know we really have pick the areas that we really want people to start playing with mm. you know um so you know we, we've we've gone for the paths we've gone for the uh, modular scenery the stuff which actually will you know will pose interesting questions mm -hmm. you know the the uh the stuff that you genuinely need to learn from to improve yeah on the yeah, 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 well. yeah yeah indeed indeed um so w we really want so i think that's why it looks good because we haven't we haven't given we're not trying to produce an alpha which is really broad mm -hmm. and incredibly shallow you know we're just like well, there's a there's a bit of water here and it's not looking too great and there's a bit of this over there and it's not looking too great we've 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 made sure that we've given you a tool set which actually you'll create stuff that you're really proud of mm. i think that's what we're, yeah all you want i mean all the stuff to do with like all the questions that you may have um about certain areas I think you need to get your hands on on the actual game and play it and, yeah. and enjoy that alpha, no, we yeah, because because we're, we're, we we're given quite a nice deep experience within the within the set of what you can create, if you like. Yeah. You know, placing a flat ride down and then actually starting building the scenery to go around it. You know, putting like a, a massive victory ship, doing its huge Which sweeping. Which we thing. saw quite a lot. I think there's oh, one in the background of this image actually. Yeah. No, it's beautiful. But the, you can you, you know you can build some this kind of like Havana style fort mm -hmm. around it and then start putting the little flaming braziers around. It's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Somebody did say, are we even reading Sorry. the comments? I just no, it's okay. I'm just saying like it's very oh. difficult for us to keep up on here, and we really wanted to do as many questions as we possibly could. So hopefully the content is so, focusing uh, on those questions. So Alpha's always on. Uh, it's not time limited. You've got it forever. Okay, there you go. Well, I hope we. I think we know. <laughs> <laughs> right, great stuff. Let's move on. So, um, what are we going to keep adding? Let's let's get another question going. But I'll never read then, that again. While you're answering that question, yeah, um, I'm going to load up the next set of images for us. Uh, oh, there, there, was, there was one to do with them. Um, yeah, go for it. Why not? We'll answer the questions. Welcome to Two Men Read from Pieces of Paper. Sorry, we got so excited about this. So we um, maybe we should notes. come back and do a, do a special question session. Where we ignore everything else. Yeah, we won't. Questions. I'm going to look down at the ones we got. Yeah, right. Let's, uh, well, what I can do is I'll bring those images and you can just talk about those images. How about that? 
yeah. Because we've got loads more content that we haven't shown yet. Yeah, so um, some people asked about, um, so I think the lights and the uh, kind of fog stuff and mm -hmm. everything else that people asked about. So in terms of, so it goes from day to night. Um, as you can see, we're seeing a daylight cycle. And um, we're also, because it's Planet Coaster, um, we are going to give the uh, ability to have different um, uh, kind of terrain sets and everything else. So yeah, this is showing the kind of concept development for the, yeah. for the band. Mm -hmm. um, which is this is yours, by the way? This one's mine, yeah. So you, yeah. you did this, the very talented John Laws here with us, did all of this. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much. It's, it's really, nice. really good. And he's, he's even got gold tooth. I mean, the, uh, <laughs> Chiche, the man who built it, is, is, uh, yeah, did a fantastic cool. job. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, that's the development of... Uh, Lady Kate. Yes, indeed. Um, it, who may have something going on with um, Tub Thumper. We just don't oh, know. Oh, we don't there know. There may be a love interest thing. going on there. Oh, and yeah, that. obviously in the future, when one, some, of the, some of the things people asked about is actually bands and music. So clearly we're showing a band there. Um, and I think anybody who'd want to build a, a, a more classic park is going to want a, a barbershop quartet. Oh, yeah. So we'll end up looking at a kind of musical element for all for all the themes that we've got planned. You know, so um, obviously the, the fairy tale, we're, we're, we're all beginning to look at that. Um, yep, that's right. That's really so the, the problem is that now we're, now we're reading it, things yeah, will go yeah, quiet. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, be, be, <laughs> can't careful, do that. be careful it's what you wish for. It's exciting to really. read what people, people's positive responses. It's wonderful. Uh, oh, uh, this, by the way, I've just shown a little sneaky thing here. Sorry about this. Oh, yes. So, um, wow. Uh, Everybody. Uh, wow. Yeah, cheers for that. Um, <laughs> no, but it, it shows <laughs> the kind of, it shows the breadth. So, here we're really playing with different styles to get a kind of high level view of what, like what we want sci fi to look like. So, so there is going to be a sci fi theme in there, basically. Well, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure there's bound to be one. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, there's, yeah. a, oh, there's a big breadth of style. I mean, you look at like the, the second in from the bottom, the second on the bottom row, the big dark, uh, big dark mm. building. That's far more, say, kind of mature, if you like, than, say, and the more Jetsons-y, uh, deco -y thing, which looks like a toaster, the, the kind of a Or the third cream one along at the top. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're, we're, we're beginning to investigate what we could do Okay, so these are very much concept stuff. Oh, very much stuff, But yeah, I still yeah, yeah. really can't wait to see a sci-fi theme within the Planet Coaster world, what we've already Absolutely. seen. Absolutely. I, I really, love it. really make love it, to love see it. that. I do think we have, uh, well, we showed this one earlier, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, Let's see if there's any any more at all that we haven't shown off yet. Oh, well, that's more development on the on the um, yeah. on the which uh, we mentioned earlier. Which is fantastic stuff. stuff. Um, oh, the sci-fi. Um, we showed that one already. Sorry. Oh no, you gave a sneak peek of I the sci-fi thing, but that, see, that's not that's not necessarily a great. Um, did, have you got the? Uh, oh yeah, that's guy. so yeah. Thinking about um, the kind of uh, the mask. That's a that's a crazy mask guy. It's more like an animatronic, more like something like you saw the tentacles on in the background. Oh say. yes, those so and um, those that, and that is really really interesting actually. Uh, yeah. uh, one of the most, when I first saw those tentacles mm -hmm. and how you can see the working parts of oh, the, yeah, yeah, of yeah. the sort of uh, I, I, yeah. I wouldn't know what to call it t technically, but the spring moving up and down uh, of the actual there's, there's, there's tentacles, you can see the electronics underneath. So well, you know yeah, it's we're going to uh, tremendous detail on Absolutely. this. So, so um, uh, yeah, so the the whole. So there's a tentacle that, that rises up, so you can have it coming out of a hole or you know eventually out of a, a lake or whatever. So you could have that coming out of the ground, mm. but wonderfully, if you actually look beneath it, there's a there's a great pneumatic uh, kind of yeah. apparatus That's lifting it out, sort of, yeah. and it kind of jiggles you can around see the a bit block like a as well that you put in the yeah, ground, a bit like a flight sim. It kind of jiggles it around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's and uh, yeah, it's, it's just fantastic because when you start seeing it in the ground, it starts to... Well, as, as we've explained in the dev diaries as well, yeah. the, the yeah. terrain will move around as you're placing things in there as well. Well, yeah, so I mean, we, we, we're going we're gonna, to um, show you, I mean, for, for, for the alpha, we're going to show you a, uh, a bunch of things that you can do with the terrain mm -hmm. editing. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's important to, to understand that what you're seeing in these um, shots here in the video, you know, none of that's, none of that's baked or created in Maya, then exported or any, any of that stuff. It's, it's, mm -hmm. We haven't tricked you in this stuff. Um, this is all this, this is all content that is uh, generated with the uh, uh, terrain editor, as it kind of is, um, and the uh, coaster stuff. So, yeah. which we'll end up, you know, releasing further down the line. So you'll you'll have a. I think you're going to have a great time, and we're going to make sure that we kind of target these kind of target these deliveries, um, so you can have a good play. Yeah, uh, it's, it's going to be fantastic, and that sounded like a fantastic conclusion. But we're going to carry on anyway. Oh no, no, we are no. I'm sorry, um, because we <laughs> you keep. You should have waited that for the end. Oh no, yes. Yeah, so there's uh, yeah. no, no. There's what more? I mean, do we have any more really? Uh, no, let's have a look here. Oh, we've got some people. 
purchasing here. Some, some just it's another little just animation sort of idea. Yeah. So again, none of this concept. stuff is. None of it's, yeah. None of it is. None of it's. It's far from being. Oh no! No, what I was going to say was is none of this is uh, purely cinematic. It's all kind of showing. Yeah. Ultimately, what the people are thinking and, and feeling. So she got her phone out there, which is awesome. Yeah. I mean, what's kind of nice is when the guy uh, in the background kind of leans over. It kind of begins to imply. You know, if the guy, if if the vendor serving you is not particularly brilliant at job, or you know, needs needs ultimately training, then that will start to migrate into yeah. uh, a not happy queue. But yeah. it's it's the, again the levels of detail that, that that we're putting into animation is actually weirdly something that you can see when you do drag out to uh, the kind of build camera size that you know, the kind of build distances that um, you'd expect. This one of the pirate band as well, which I think we have already shown before, but. But we haven't actually shown in, in the kind of detail. But here you can see the kind of uh, the feel of the animation, whereby it's so, see, so yes, sliding around on its track. So just on this, so someone good. asked. About, someone did actually ask about the kind of art direction and the style of um, uh, the style of the game. So it's very easy again to make a theme park look kind of uh, kind of retro in its, particularly when you've got animatronics, because people often maybe over ro over roboticize or over overly make it machine like yeah okay so you know the the, the band has actually gone through a few iterations where we, we said okay that's a bit too jiggly mm -hmm. yeah and when you look at things like you know um, disney's animatronics and uh, some of the really beautiful stuff on um, the pirates of the caribbean ride for example you know there's there's a real fluidity to some of that like the kind of johnny depp stuff which we wanted to emulate here oh fantastic yeah, yeah i've so actually Never seen that stuff in real well, life it, myself, but well, it, it does feel very natural. It feels very, very well, natural. But one interesting question, because again, the, the people are going to be talking on these, um, you know, hopefully in the future, if you love this one. Um, <laughs> so one, one question was, do, yeah, to what degree do we reference uh, rides? Uh, what do we, you know, how do we um, go about coming up with the designs? Um, so we've got, you know, years of, of knowledge of, of making coaster games mm -hmm. within the team. Um, and we understand that people, you know, they want original stuff as, as well, but they also want stuff which feels like rides that are out there. Um, so, you know, we, we, are, we are kind of inspired, but we, we obviously never kind of copy, if you like. Um, so when we look at like the animatronics, we think, so what is it? And you know, what, what's that out there in, in, in the world? We look at that and then we try and emulate what it is now and possibly where it could be, certainly with the rides. I mean, um, um, Sam Denny, for those people who you, know, you might have seen uh, uh, the occasional kind of QA with, with, uh, with him, you know, he's, he's been looking at rides which are now only in a kind of concept stage to understand what's going to be coming out in the future. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of ahead of that game um, for uh, the kind of future of the, for, 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 for actually the medium term development of it. Yeah. So it's really, you know, we're kind of making sure that we've, that as, as builders, you can make parks which feel um, classic and interesting, uh, as well as ones which feel ultra contemporary, which is why the Planet Coaster theme is a really interesting one to start building out with. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. Gosh, John, all of this information, we've had people coming in in the chat about how their minds are going to be blown after this already. So yeah. we are going to have to wind up very, very soon. And I I'm, I'm, I'm do apologise because we could probably go on talking all night about all this sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, what I want to do is leave something nice and fresh in people's minds as well. Before we go, we're going to do a, um, a giveaway as well. Make sure that oh, yeah, we give away. Yeah, something like that. Oh, leave these guys <laughs> we're going to give away Tub Thumper and all his nakedness. So you're saying that these two, who knows, there is something going on between <laughs> them. You can't confirm or deny that there may be something going on between these no. two. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, so the Plank Coaster theme, I, I did think we played that one earlier, but I do think that park walkthrough is really, really nice. Let's just play that, play that again. Let's just get that going again. Somewhere through here, just, to, just while we're just answering a, few, a couple more questions before we leave. No, totally. I mean, yeah. I, um, so, yeah, we, 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 we should. Um, yeah, tub thumper. Is like, oh, th <laughs> yes, yes, you can definitely have the tub thumper. Um, I wouldn't mind if I had a lot of those weird little barrels. Um, <laughs> so uh, uh, I'll pick one because there's a lovely... Uh, I quickly ask, John Virgo says, uh, silly question, but will I be able to take high-res screenshots like in Elite Dangerous? Um, yeah, so, we, so we'll be looking at high-res screenshots because we need them as well. Uh, because <laughs> because, because uh, you know, we need to generate yeah. um, uh, publicity images so you can really see what's going on there and print them out for um, shows. So yes, we, we, we need the same thing you do. Fantastic. Uh, and no question is a silly question, John. So don't be silly by asking and thinking it's a silly question. Uh, will we be okay? Well, we've already covered that earlier on. Um, uh, in terms of, there's been lots of questions about customizing of colors. Um, so, and also palettes. That's a very good thing to touch on because it's really cool. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, ex we're, we're certainly delving far deeper in the, in the way that you can colorize your rides and, and, and customize them in that way. Um, and you, so you can have, 
you'll be able to have colors, which uh, if you like, within a ride, you can have color for like the frame, a, a series of colors for the frame, then a series of colors for the, for the uh, uh, cabin, then a series of colors for the components of it. So actually you can make some quite detailed um, palettes. And because you're saving, you can kind of save the palette selections off for those. So if you wanted to copy the palette from your uh, frame selection mm -hmm. off into uh, your cabin, you can do that. Yeah. Let's move on forward here a little bit on this video, just so we've got the, the, the entrance and the theme going. I on. mean, really, what you're looking at here. So in terms of the sky, so in terms of the uh, uh, the the planes here, the, the the Skyfire ride, that that's actually using customized colors, right? So that's what our customizable colors looks like. All oh, right. Yeah. So. I know this because <laughs> that's really, that's really because when I was expo when I was exporting one of our rides today with uh, new ride cameras in it, I inadvertently turned them all the same color selection as the cabin, um, and thought, oh, that's a quite a pretty ride. Then I made it back to the way we wanted it. From. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so so that stuff that that, that stuff's um, kind of currently working, and and ultimately what it comes down to is when we when we share that with you during this process, we'll make sure that. Yeah, we, will make sure, we want to make sure the editors are correct, if you like, and, yeah. and, and robust. And that's the one that will get shared. We do have some questions coming through in the chat as well, nice and fast. Thanks again, guys, for being here. I do want to say I really, really appreciate everyone who's come along today. One of the questions has been about dark rides. Uh, I think yeah. by that they mean sort of in, indoor rides. Is that, is that yeah, sort, yeah. That so, sort of I mean, how do you, well, how you, do you do art direction for an indoor ride? So you would have seen... <laughs> well, you, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good question. Yeah, it's a very good ride. Um, so uh, as you would have seen earlier on in one of these videos, uh, or this video here, uh, you do indeed see a coaster um, shooting into the ground, mm -hmm. which has been, uh, you know, kind of, there's, there's a couple of ways, you know, you can kind of hollow it out with, um, with the normal kind of terrain tools, yeah. or indeed you can just punch the coaster through the ground and then lift it out the other side. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a very powerful um, um, tool set. Um, but yeah, if you make an underground chobe, you can start building um, content out under there, and uh, yeah, you could, th you could thread your path beautifully through it, start taking people through there, mm -hmm. or indeed in uh, a rail, or indeed start putting flat rides in those chambers. So yeah, you can make um, you can make kind of chambered areas and, and take guests in there. Fantastic. Hey, that's a, a fantastic answer. I, I think I do, I do think we're going to have to wrap up very, very soon, unfortunately. Did you have something else you wanted to say? No, there was an interesting question about um, uh, earlier on about, um, about being optimal um, in, in, in the list and in terms of uh, mm -hmm. Kind of platforms and uh, yeah so what you're seeing here actually uh, dan grays really well at the moment you know, we, we're kind of surprising ourselves you know it, clearly it's an, an alpha stage so i'm not yeah. you know yeah. i'm not about to say it's going to run on a spectrum 48k so no, no i'm not about to do that um <laughs> but uh you know it's uh it's evidently yeah. uh doing a very good job on on, on, a, on a on a on a reasonable range of machines at the moment. brilliant that's really really nice to hear so some people are asking as well about yep. well if they can get involved in the early bird and how how they get involved in the alpha and of course if you head over to planetcoaster.com you can find all the details on there and you can still buy early bird access on there but mm. with that in mind we actually do have a copy of the early bird access to give away to you right now in fact let's even do two let's go crazy john let's go crazy <laughs> and wild two. for the last few minutes of this stream give two give away, away two two of them that? that's wild so I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Oh. And I'm going to say, <laughs> very sorry this. is unprepared. This. It's unprepared. I'm going to say, pick, a, pick a, a phrase that you want people in the chat to say, and then we will pick somebody at random from saying that. I'll tell you to stop, and I'll tell you when to start saying that in the chat. We'll pick somebody at random, and then we'll pick another person at random, and they will get themselves a early bird edition. That's what it's called. Okay, Chief Beef Belief. Chief Beef Belief, everybody. How many exclamation marks do you want on that? Uh, at least three. At least three. three. Chief Beef Belief, exclamation marks, three exclamation marks, put that into the chat. Look at that. People are going crazy for this. This is quite interesting. There's not a single one yet. No, no, it takes about 30 seconds. Good. For okay, okay. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, there's one. There's one. Chief Beef Belief. Here we go. Oh, it's coming. Here we go. Oh, Chief. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Wow, it's so fast. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? It's well, thank you, guys. I just want to say, while those are coming in, I will say stop saying that in just about <laughs> 10 seconds time. But while you're doing it, I'm going to keep you going for a while. But I do really want to say thank you so much for coming along. And thank yeah. you. And I really do hope that some of this information was useful. If we did not get through all the questions, and I, I know that we didn't touch on a lot of the stuff oh, that we said we would, uh, but that's because there's just so many of you and, you and you had so much to say. And I didn't think it would get so... Uh, yeah, I'm really... Uh, I, I hope I answered... I hope I give you some... I think we did. I hope I, 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 I gave you good information. Bits. I hope I, I gave some you some juicy tidbits in there. And I hope, I hope I gave you enough to get me into yeah. trouble tomorrow. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> you in trouble, not me. Oh. All right, stop saying Chief Beef Belief as much as you should always proudly say Chief Beef Belief. That's right awesome. now. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's loads. Did you see that? There's too many. Right, okay, loads. let's scan through. 
well, we've got to wait until everybody stops because there's a delay and we want to make sure everyone's fair. And then we'll randomly choose two people. Yeah. And then we will be in touch with you if you could send us a PM to on our saying YouTube it. account. They will. It'll take a few seconds. A few seconds? It'll take a few seconds because there, we'll be there, here at there's nine. a 30 second delay. So if you, yeah, we can't draw until you stop saying. <laughs> yeah, but that's an invitation to never stop. <laughs> that's true. But we will just stay silent at this point, just read. I've got a book with me if you want. I'm going to look. Yeah, um, but we have, honestly, we genuinely had tons of questions here. <laughs> and and I'm so sorry that we didn't that we didn't manage to get through every single one. But that's just because they've just been so enthusiastic. Right. Stop that's saying it. That's it now. I'm, I'm putting it up. Right, okay. I'm putting it up. Okay. There you go. So our first winner, chosen at random, oh, did, yeah, go on. Uh, is... Oh, you pointed at one as well. Alexander Kierkegaard. Alexander Kierkegaard, round of applause. Everybody give some love to Alexander Kierkegaard and say congratulations, well done to him. He now has himself, he's now the proud owner. Or she, Alexander. No, Alexandra, who wouldn't it be, wouldn't it? No, it could go any of them. No, yeah, no, uh, yeah Alexander. Alex, well done, you got yourself. You're now a proud owner of the early birds access pass to the wonderful planet at planet coaster and as you've seen it is looking so so good even in early like pre-alpha yeah. build yeah. so i can't wait until people get their hands on it and see it actually in alpha uh we have a second winner second winner round again <laughs> wow this is a really efficient oh, so, way of randomly middle. choosing i oh, sorry uh, no it's great we have Tom Verburn, Verburn, Tom Verburn, round of applause for Tom Verburn. Tom Verburn, you are also a proud owner of the Early Bird Access Pass for Planet Coaster. So yeah, fantastic. Absolutely Thank you right. so much. Um, so thanks again, guys, for watching. Um, Tom Verburn, if you two and Alexander, if you both send me a PM, or not me, but Planet Coaster, a PM on YouTube, we will then reply, get your details and make sure you're sorted out with that Access Pass. But do make sure you get in touch. Uh, let's have a look further down. Are people, yeah, look at all this. Oh my They're word. They're still saying it, but they are saying rigged and they are saying congratulations. So some rigged. people have stopped saying Chief Beef Belief. But rigged. if you do want to take that to Twitter and turn it into a hashtag, then that would be fine by me too. Chief Beef Belief, because it is nice. I like that one. I did, yeah, that's all I could come up with. Are you like a marketing guy? Uh, I can be. Is that a job offer? <laughs> No, you're too, we are too busy doing this. A freeze um. frame. <laughs> a freeze frame. <laughs> End of stream. But everybody, again, thank you so much. And do head over to planetcoaster.com where you can find out all the details or frontierstore.net to see how you can buy into the Planet Coaster Alpha as well if you do want to find yourself hankering to get your hands on this because I know mm -hmm. that I am right now after seeing all this stuff as well. Um, but John, you have been an absolute pleasure tonight. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. No, I mean, them. Oh, I don't, oh, sorry. Community. <laughs> See you later. Uh, cool, cheers. Yeah, no, genuinely, thank you. And thank you so much. You've been an absolutely wonderful bunch of people. And hopefully we'll get to do lots of more of these in the future. Yeah, next time I'll be edited, probably. No, no, I think <laughs> you'll just get like, I'll ask the questions and you'll just sort of come in as like a, a, a jittery screen, <laughs> different <laughs> poses. That's um, good. No, fantastic. We'll have loads more. I think that we are going to be doing a different theme. We've had, of course, we've been talking about art today, or as much as we possibly can do. Uh, in the future, we're going to be going into more details on rides, on animation, and then eventually, maybe, maybe, fingers crossed, I can't promise anything right now, maybe we'll be able to show you some actual in-game, the game being played that would be That'd be so much fun. That'd be exciting. That'd be fun. That'd be very exciting. So thank you again, guys, and we will see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye. Cheers. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, bye. Bye. Ah, there you go. <laughs> See you.